All right, guys, <clears throat> one more video for you. Uh, two things I'm going to show is uh, an optional character sheet that you can use and how to set it up and how to use it. And then the other one, I will show you how uh, Sneak Attack now works. It's completely automated. Um, so I want to just demo that for you so you can see what's going on. All right, so first, um, the character sheet. So I'm logged in as the player version of myself. And this is the standard character sheet that, you, that, that we use for everybody. So you should be very familiar with this. Um, if you like this, great, leave it. Uh, but if you want to try something else, uh, what you can do is you can go up to Sheet. And then pick this Tidy 5e sheet. And when you do that, save. It's going to give you a different point of view or a different look and feel on the sheet. And it has some things that I like better than the original. And... Um, so I've converted my characters to this, but again, this is totally and completely up to you. Uh, so again, a lot of similarities. You've got all your core stats, your hit, uh, your armor class, your speed. Um, you've got your image, and you've got all of your proficiencies and attributes here. And then here are all your various senses, languages, um, immunities, etc. So all of that's the same. Um, here are your resources, right? So he's a paladin, so he gets five lay on hands, and we can add others. And then this is what we call our favorite section, and I'll show you with that how we get that to fill out. Uh, up here, we've got four new icons, right? So if we're applying exhaustion, that'll just keep track of it. Uh, this is where you now take a rest. Uh, so you just hover over this, and here's your short rest and long rest. Um, I haven't really played with the hit dice button that much, but uh, I'm going to play with it later but uh, so I can have an answer for you, but it shows you your hit dice. And then this one up here is your inspiration. So, you know, when Chris grants us all inspiration, we can just click it and notice it's kind of glowing now and you've got an inspiration. Uh, so that's the top. And then these work the same. I can click on, you know, strength, and it's going to ask you, do I want to check or a saving throw? You can still use these up here um, as well. And then down here on the left side is your ability, uh, is your check, right? So if I click it, it gives us the ability check over on the chat. And if I click the right side, that's the saving throw. Again, I find up here to be a little bit easier for that, but if you'd like to run it from the character sheet. All right, uh, the other tabs and how do we get this filled in. So your inventory tab, again, pretty much the same. We'll drag and drop, uh, but a few different nuances. So now you notice that uh, you've got these green rows and unhighlighted rows. Well, these are what's equipped. So this tells you that these are your equipped items, right? So I got several that are unequipped. And as you're seeing, if you hover over them, it gives you all of the key details that explains the weapon, tells you, you know, it's melee, equipped, proficient, one action, five feet, etc. So it's just a quick way to say, hey, what was that, uh, uh, the longbow, right? What was its range? Well, it tells you, I just hover over it, and it tells us it's 150 uh, short, 600 long, right? So um, a few other things. The way to equip is you just right click on your mouse and then you equip item. Ta da! That's it. Um, if you want to undo it, then you just right click and unequip it. So, pretty straightforward. Um, these little icons here tell us if you're attuned or not. This one requires attuning, so it's red. And then down here in the bottom left, it tells you uh, out of the three attunement uh, items that you can have, how many are you attuned to? So I'm, I'm, I'm at max with this character. Um, so again, pretty straightforward. You know, you can scroll through it. It's got all the different types and, and whatnot. And then you see this little bookmark favorite that's now that whenever you bookmark something, it's going to show up on this tab. So you don't have to go clicking through your inventory or your spell book. Um, and again, that's done by right clicking. I'm going to add that as a favorite. And now it's here. And then I can just roll from here and treat it just like anything else. So it's a, it's a little bit faster because this becomes kind of your favorite list or your most commonly used items. Uh, so that is the inventory. Spellbook is pretty much the same way. Um, the spellbook, it's, you know, how many spell slots you have. Green means that it is uh, prepared versus unprepared. It tells you, you know, versus concentrating, etc. And then as you hover over it on the left, again, it gives you its level, its bonus action itself, how long it lasts, etc. So uh, same type of thing. You know, I favorited a few here, so these show up on that front page. One other thing that happens here. So uh, this is a magic item with spells. It has 
Um, you know, I can just cast it from here. I can also favorite these, I think. No, I can't favorite those because it's part of that. Um, but you can run that from up here, from magic items or from down here. And for those who want to filter, so you've got these filters over here. Um, so you want to see which spells you have, which are a reaction, just click it. It shows you what you have as a reaction, which is shield. Then unclick it to bring them all back. It can show you which ones are bonus action, etc. Uh, which ones require, you know, a ritual. I may not have any rituals. Uh, I don't. So again, just a, a quick way to filter through it. And then down here, it tells you how many prepared spells you have, uh, your attack modifier and your spell DC, and which um, ability is driving that. So again, pretty, pretty straightforward. Features, again, same thing, Divine Sense, it does all the same thing. You can't favorite these, but this is just where you see it and how many uses you get, all of that fun stuff. Effects, you don't need. Um, biography, if you want to fill this in, right, you know, your ideals, traits, flaws, gender, blah, 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 you can all fill it out here. Um, so this is just edible. You just kind of click the little pencil icon here, and then this little thing saves it if you're, when you're done. And then the last one, which is kind of interesting, it's a journal. So as you're going through various quests or events or meeting people, you can actually log it on your character sheet now. So if you meet, you know, Gringo the Great, Ringo the Great, right? I have it now here, and it's all kind of centralized here. So these are kind of your notes if you want to take them. Again, completely optional. So I think that's pretty much the new sheet. Again, I like it because you can kind of, you know, build this front list. If you like running off the character sheet, it doesn't mean that you can't use this. Um, but again, this is here for your option, your option only. And again, that's done by going up here on Sheet clicking sheet and then saying this sheet and changing it. So if I change it back to default, then I'm back to what it was. Uh, so that's the new sheet, completely 100% up to you. All right, <coughs> let's talk about um, sneak attack. So I found a way to automate sneak attack and it will take into considerations of, you know, uh, does the, do you have advantage on the attack roll? Is there somebody within five feet of the creature behind you, all right? So it, it figures out all of that and will automatically roll it. So let me show you, demo it. So here I've got this uh, dwarf rogue who's eighth level. And if I go to features, there's two things on here. There's the auto sneak attack, and then there's this new sneak attack special. So um, I removed the, class feature off your character sheet and added these two. And between these two, it's going to understand, are you allowed to do a sneak attack and then automatically roll it? So let me show you. So I'm gonna target this Otyug um, with my dwarf and I'm gonna fire a short bow at it, right? Uh, so here on the right side, right? Uh, 20 to hit, six damage, it, it, no sneak attack, no nothing. But let's say that this uh, Otyug, for some reason, gets paralyzed, which will grant um, the attacker advantage. So I am gonna still attack this Otyug with this guy, and I'm gonna use my short bow. And notice, oh, natural 20, nice. Uh, and notice it rolled the sneak attack. Now, we'll have to play with this a little bit. Um, because it just rolls four additional dice on your sneak attack. But, but the key thing is here is notice that it automatically rolled for it. It knew you had advantage. <coughs> and because of that, and you hadn't used it already this turn, and we're not really in a turn tracker, it automatically rolls it. So now you don't have to think about, should I, sh am I in sneak range, am I not? And then the last one, I'm gonna remove that condition. I'm gonna move this guy next to it. And again, using this character, I'm gonna use my short bow. Wow, that's a one. So I go from a natural 20 to a one, and back to a natural 20. Wow. But notice, um, I didn't have advantage on that attack, but it knows that I have an ally within five feet of the same creature I'm attacking, so it automatically rolled it again. So the nice thing about this is it, it automates that. So um, we don't have to think about it. You don't have to think about it. You just target and attack, target and attack. And then um, the only thing that you do need to realize is that it's going to only add it to the first attack of that round. So always use your primary weapon. 
Um, so hopefully you find that makes things a little bit easier. One less thing to go clicking through. Um, and Rob, unfortunately, because you have Rakish Audacity in my campaign, um, it's always doubling the dice. So I'm trying to look at that. And if I can get that figured out, it'll set it up for you as well. But uh, have any questions? I'll see you tonight. Have a good night. We'll talk to you shortly.